I'm back in the car again, baby. I can get used to this. It's keeping me awake and I get to bring y'all content. So I might start doing it like very often, right? Anyways, today I got a concept that uh, I think is gonna help language learners, but it's also gonna just help anyone that likes to read books, right? Because I do both of those. So I'm trying to help two groups at once. And I wanna talk about reading less and actually comprehending what you read. Surely you've probably heard this situation before because this happens to me all the time. Somebody tells me about a book or a movie or whatever and I'm like, oh really? Like, what's it about? And they're like, oh well, it's like, uh, the, whole, the whole book is like, it's about, uh, like I, I don't really remember but it's a super good book, bro. And I'm like, how is it a good book and you don't remember it? I'll tell you why. Because people speed through things in order to say they got finished with it or so that they can read another one or so they can do another thing. They're trying to be efficient. They're trying to be productive. I'm gonna read 300 books this year. But what are you actually gaining though? If I read 100 books in a year and I can't tell you about any of them, was there any point in me reading it? If I just say that I read 100 books, I might be able to tell you the title. I might be, and in fact, sometimes people ask me about a book that i post on my story if you follow me on instagram you know i post like uh snippets all the time and someone will say hey what book is that and i say oh it's this book and i say oh i've read that and i'm like the fact that you didn't recognize the book that's horrible so basically to me i think that like this 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 hustle culture stuff this you wanna read faster, you wanna be more efficient, you wanna be able to read a book in a day so that you can read a hundred more books so you can get that new job, so you can get more money. I, I think that has led us to this point that we're at, right? But for, for purposes of uh, just being more intelligent in daily life or for your language, I think you need to slow down. I think reading less is better. I think reading the same book multiple times is good, right? A lot of uh, vocabulary words in a second language or your first language, you're not gonna understand until you run across it multiple times. And by reading the same stuff over and over, you get a better understanding of it. The first time you read it, you might say, oh, okay, I kind of get what's going on here. I think I get the intention that the author has for this. The second, the third, the fourth time, you already know what you're, what you're gonna be looking at and you can think about it more critically like while you're reading it. You're not trying to figure out what's going on, you know what's going on and then you can analyze it better the second, third, fourth time. Um, and like I said, especially for a second language, that, that really helps you out a lot. You get better context. Um, like I said, you're not trying to figure out what's going on and getting new words thrown at you. You already know what's going on the second time through and you can focus on those new words a little bit better. So just to back up a little bit, I think something that you should ponder is why are you trying to read more books? Why are you trying to read faster? How does that help you? Literally ask yourself, how will that help me? How will reading um, 100 books versus 50 books help me? 100 books versus 30 books. What's gonna happen by me speeding through these books? For me, I know what that answer is. That answer is uh, I'm not gonna remember what I read. I'm gonna get to the end of the paragraph and say, what did I just read? I know you've done that before. I know you've read an entire page and you're just like, I have no idea what was on that page because you're not actually paying attention to it. You're, you're, your end goal is, is the end. You're like, I'm just trying to finish this thing. And I mean, you know, just with like anything in life, when you're just focusing, when you're just focusing on getting done and you're not focusing on quality, it doesn't end well. Like if, you know, just like working out, if I'm just like, I'm going in here, I'm just knocking these sets out, it's not gonna be a good workout. Like you get a good workout from focusing on quality of movement, really feeling what you're doing and being intentional. But that's with everything. That's with sports. That's with reading. That's with 
your job. Imagine a dude that's building your house and he's just like, I just want to finish a hundred houses. I don't care how it gets done. Like, that's horrible, bro. Like, I want whoever builds my house to really focus on building my house so it doesn't fall apart, right? So, I don't know how much more I can say about this, but slow down, read stuff multiple times, and don't put numerical goals on your on your reading, I would say, personally. I've done that before. Um, I might have made a video about that. I'm not sure. But you guys know I did the 100 videos last year. And I came to the same conclusion with the videos. It was good for motivating me to get into it, but it became a burden. And it took away from the quality of my videos. And so I'll say that too. I will say that just like exercise or just like anything else, you have to progress into stuff, right? And so if you're not reading and you tell yourself, I'm gonna read 100 books this year, to try to like motivate yourself. It's not, that's not really any different than somebody saying like, I'm gonna start going to the gym and they get in and they're going hard, bro. Like super hard, you're gonna burn out. Or like I said, like it's just not, it's not gonna be good. When like you should be focusing on doing the smallest amount possible and making it really good and progressing over time, right? Uh, and so when you're talking about reading, same kind of thing, you can't, you can't not be reading and then pick up the thickest philosophy uh, philosophy book possible, right? Because like you need to have a base for that stuff. And that's gonna make you close the book too. That's gonna make you close your mind. You're gonna be like, I don't have no, had a little bit of a malfunction there. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't just jump into like the thickest philosophy book ever, right? You need a base. You need to read basic philosophy concepts, basic psychology concepts, and then you read something intermediate, and then you read something thick that's gonna be referencing uh, those basic and intermediate concepts. Same thing with like language stuff too, bro. You can't uh, pick up some philosophy book in another language that you just started learning, bro. Read a kid's book, bro understand it be able to explain to someone else i made a video about that after you read a book explain it to the wall bro pretend like there's an audience there and give a book presentation bro i used to my, my dad used to force me to give book presentations like every sunday it's like one of the best things i ever did as a kid because um i would really have to understand what i was reading and i still like carry that habit to this day like after i read a book i just think I'm going to have to tell somebody about it. And so I really make sure I understand what I'm reading thoroughly, right? And so, yeah, when you get done with your book, or as you're reading your book, think about what am I reading and how am I gonna um, explain this to somebody else? That's gonna help you uh, comprehend what you're reading a lot better. So anyways, I think I'm like at 10 minutes of talking now, which is a lot for me. I appreciate y'all as always. Y'all been showing a lot of love. I'm gonna try to keep it going. Always comment if you get something in your head and you're like, I'd like to see him talk about this. Or I wanna know what he thinks about this. Comment, and if it's not the stupidest idea ever, I'll probably make a video about it. All right, peace. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Ciao.